We're talking to kids about body confidence. So I think when you expose kids to certain cartoons and things like that, they have a kind of uh, system in their heads where they equate uh, beauty and thinness to a certain body type. But there were definitely conversations about skin tone and colour of skin tone and whether you'd be able to get married or, you know, whether that would happen for you. So many of us growing up with the circle of shame and the magazines that, you know, highlighted celebrities, cellulite or whatever it was. Sometimes a, a child might say something and you might not know how to answer it in that moment. So it's, it's okay to say, do you know what, I don't know, let's what do you think? Because I was bullied at school really badly and I didn't tell anyone and I remember the first person I told was my dad. So we're talking about breaking the cycle. We just need to break it and say no it's okay to say I don't like that. It has somehow become okay that we can comment on people's bodies. Some food is good and some food is bad and the, the assumptions that children can make from that is that some bodies are good and some bodies are bad. I think it's really easy for us to think we've failed in some way. We are really up against a system that is overwhelming. It got to a point when I was 23 when I had to kind of really sit down and think, okay, what am I doing to my body? Why am I doing these things? for the validation of people that don't even matter to me. We're still a work in progress, and actually it's okay if we have bad body image days, you know, that's gonna happen. And we need the young to know that that's okay for them as well. We need to teach kids that actually, that's not the right way of doing things. And even if their teacher has said something, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's right. And that maybe the teacher's just doing it the old way and they don't know the new way of doing things. It's about finding ways to talk to our kids in a way that maybe is about kind of body neutrality as much as it's about body positivity. It took me having a conversation with my mum and my dad um, you know, explaining to them what fat phobia is, explaining to them that, you know, I still remember all of the little comments that they said as a child. What we look like isn't necessarily the most interesting thing about us. How do we give them that confidence to challenge the system? Giving our children the confidence to speak out in these situations can actually be really powerful. And then I think we need to kind of help them recognise that actually it is a systemic issue. It's not an individual issue and but we are all individuals in a system. We are living in a world that has taught us from birth that who we are as women is entirely defined by the size and shape of our bodies. You know, my choice to wear makeup, it's their choice to wear makeup, it's their choice to, you know, wear those clothes, whatever. But really, how much choice do we really have when we're in the system that we're in? Showing them examples of before and after airbrushed pictures so that they can see that the images of women that they're seeing on billboards and movie posters aren't even what that particular woman looks like. And I just want to say as a parent that I'm with you on that. There's so much that a responsibility that we hold on our shoulders and I don't want anyone to go away feeling guilty. Just know that you are here and you're trying your best and we all are and we can't do everything for everybody and every child. And just the fact that everyone's here tonight is already like you're absolutely smashing it. Brilliant, brilliant parents. The fact that you're thinking about this stuff is so great.